So how's your ride along going so far, Tiffany? Yeah, it's good. The truck's not even starting. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Dad. You can try jump starting and hopefully that'll take care of it. We'll see. All right. Hopefully that's all it is. Hopefully, right? <laughs> yeah, because that's all I see. So you can't, so you can't start it up. You can't put the code in so you can get it started. <laughs> There's too many things to look at at one time. Hold well, on, I'm texting and driving. Oh no! Oh, it's like the slowest thing. Ah! What happened during the year? Somebody I was, a, was trying to kill you. He backed into my sleeper with the with the trailer. I have worked with some amazing drivers over the years, and even though I will only be able to experience a small part of it, I want to better understand the challenges that are endured while living a life on the road. I was in the Army. I lived in Texas for like 20 years. Yeah? Yeah. Well, where in Texas? I was stationed in El Paso. Oh. How did you like El Paso? It was nice. Yeah? Yeah, I really liked it. What happened earlier? Somebody I was, at, was trying to kill you <laughs> while you were taking I was, I was parked at Costco making a delivery this morning at 9 o'clock, and I was backed into the door, and then there was another driver backing into the door next to me, and he backed into my sleeper. He backed, like, what part of his truck hit the sleeper? The, the trailer. He backed into my sleeper with the, with the trailer. So he was backing up and he hit my sleeper over here on the driver's with, side. With like the back side of the trailer? Yes, or with the, 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 oh, right, the right okay. side over here. Hmm. So. Was that like a, like a rookie mistake, would you say? Well, I guess I don't know whether he was nervous or. Did you talk to him? Damn! <laughs> <laughs> I know, huh? He's like, wait a second. Don't get it dirty. I will be right back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I did talk to him because he, uh, when he hit the truck, I uh, got out and I don't even think he, well, he pretended he know he didn't, he didn't do it, but Jeez. it's like, dude, you're right next to me. I know you did it. And I can see the paint on your trailer to where you just scraped Look, it. Matches. I don't know, you just scraped it off my truck. And so. But then the damage, I don't know, you know what it's going to cost right now, so. Like a few thousand, you think? Oh, yeah. It'll be easy. Because the yeah. whole door? Oh, Do they... Like right back here. See where he got it says leash tonight right here? Yeah, yeah. But it right behind that, where it says certified clean air, mm -hmm. right there, and then the little part back there, and then on the bottom. And... So like multiple panels? Yes. Oh. Yeah, so he. Do they just replace? Yeah, they can be replaced. Yeah, they just they just take them off and replace the, the parts that's that's damaged. That's the good thing about. It. Matter of fact, that's like the hood. Yeah. The hood comes in like three separate pieces. Oh, that's nice. So, so it could be cheaper. Yeah. So if you just need like one half of the hood, it just wow. replace, one, replace that one panel over there. Aren't there windshields like that? Well, they're in, like two pieces. And in, in, in the freight liners, yeah, they have two separate windshields. I don't think I like that. And then the internationals and the Volvos, they have just like one big windshield, but the is Freightliners has two. Is it cheaper then? Because you could only replace yeah, it half. Yeah, because you can replace it. just as you say, you crack one half and you replace that half. But so it's, so being an independent contractor, do you have to, or are you owner operator? Or is it one and the same? It's basically the same, yeah. We're always changing the terminology. Yeah, that's all they do, but yeah, independent contractor, owner operator, they same thing. Um, how does it work if you have like a chip in your windshield? Like, well, you, yeah, I have uh, like maintenance funds. My, I have, I have, no, you have I have glass coverage, just oh, like you have for your car. Okay. And we pay. I think it's like two dollars and something a week. And you get up. You can get up to, I think it's three windshields a year. Oh, that's cool. So that's like if say if I had a bunch of little chips in here, if I wanted to get it changed. I talk to the glass guy over here in the yard, call the insurance company, they give me a number for it, and I give it to him, and he changes it, and he calls him up, and he gets paid. Just like they do at the car wash, when I get my car wash, and they like, 
inspect my windshield. Yeah. When they <laughs> Leave it alone, it's fine. That's so, yeah, so... Yes, it, it, and it comes in handy. This is called, uh, it comes in real handy. It's cheaper than buying a new windshield out of pocket, you know, yeah. all the time. How much are they? Yeah, it all depends on um, what are you putting it in. Well, dude, I can't back up, so you don't have to. See, that's, that's the one thing that's a no no. What? You never back up. Really? No, you it's, don't. Even if you're bobtail, doesn't matter? Nope. Don't back really? up. Really? I don't back up. I don't you back know, up. Because what do you do if they can't get by? Well, you're going to have to wait. Oh, until you move. <laughs> you know, because of, let's say if I back up, yeah. because sometimes you can't see, even if it's a car behind yeah. you, you can't see it. And if I back up and I back into him, then it's my fault. Yeah. And then he's going about his business and I got to sit there and deal with that. You were being the nice one and then yeah. it backfired. Yep. How long have you been an independent contractor with us? Uh, 14 years. So you started company then? Because you've been here, you've been with Night Seventeen. Longer than that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I started company three years. I drove company for three years and then I got my own truck and been independent contractor ever since. What do you think has kept you at night all these years? 17 years. Well, when I started here, uh, I was like, I'm only going to do this for a few years and then I'm done. <laughs> but, <laughs> was that the first company you drove with? No, I drove with a couple of other companies, but they were just like small companies. And you know, and when I started here, like I said, I was like, okay. What's that mean? That's just uh, high exhaust. It's the uh, idle. No. Yeah, it's just a high exhaust tip. It's just like when when it regens, when it regens, you have real high exhaust tip. That's all it is. It's, it's okay. It's saying the temperature is hot. Yes. In other words, don't stand next to the exhaust back because it can burn We're not like flammable right now though? Nah, nah, we are. Spontaneously combust? <laughs> no. Mm. We don't know what happened to and, them and on the, their ride along. And, and then it's a new truck, you know, and they have all kind of glitches, so therefore... Oh. Let's see, it already went off. Huh. But no, like when I started here 17 years ago, like I, said, I was just... So I'm gonna do this for four or five years, you know, just to get on my feet and then I'm done with it but that's what a lot of guys say and really yes that's what a lot of guys say they oh, I'm just only gonna do this for a little while and then what happens then like you, it's so amazing that you can't leave but, but then you you know that's like me I don't I don't mind driving I like to drive yeah. it doesn't bother me and you know you got your own you like you got your own independence your freedom and it's like nobody's bothering you mm -hmm. you know well, we do have a lot of guys, okay, a fair amount of guys, and some gals that come off the road and they go into the office yeah. and it does not last very long. Nah. We'll I don't know how I've gotten Steve to stay in the office for as long as I have. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> trying to get rid of me, Steve. <laughs> I'm, <just kidding. laughs> I'm not going anywhere. You gotta force me. <laughs> like um, Chris McCarroll. Yeah. I rode along with him, obviously. Um, he had a few different positions over the road, and I think he lasted like a year and a half, maybe, in the office, maybe a year, and then he's like, no, I need to get back out on the road. I know, because I don't think I could, you know, be there in the office all day, every day. Yeah. I'm so used to doing this, you know, and nobody's looking over my shoulder, nobody's telling me what to do. Mm -hmm. So, but might be the biggest adjustment. I mean, yeah. I can't speak from experience, but but you usually run only to LA and back. Yeah, yeah. Back when I was in operations, I remember you would go to El Paso. Yeah, I used to run El Paso and back. Mm -hmm. And you would do the discount tire loads? Yes. And you would tell me, oh, it's a workout. Like, this is good for me because this is my workout because it was driver unload? Yeah, it was driver unload. Crazy. Every Every day, five days a week. Ugh. In the oh, summertime, even? Yep. Like, so sweaty. Over a thousand tires a day. Oh, my gosh. I'm really weird. That's weird. The, the exhaust beep. Yeah, it, see, and then right, as soon as you start. Every time I get into a different truck, it's beeping about something. So, yeah, and then it goes off. It's, like, very... I don't know. Like, this one here, this truck only has a uh, thousand miles on, a thousand two hundred miles on it, so... But it hasn't even been broken in yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna have all kind of 
smell because I can smell the the heat from the motor. Really? Yeah. I can't. Oh yeah, you. I smell yeah. like new car scent. No, you can. Plastic. You can. You can smell. That's like when it heats up. You can smell the the heat from the the engine and all that stuff. That's because I've been doing this for a while. So <laughs> you're like, I can detect the scent. Yeah. But a lot of uh, some of these guys they leave the keys in the truck. Like, what, what happened over there? That piece was fun. Really? I don't know. What was it? Uh, I think it was uh. I think she really wants some nachos or something. <laughs> but is it different? Well, there's a driver coming from the vet, and he's, uh, he's not going to be able to make it over here. So I'm going to drop my trailer tonight in Ontario, and then he's going to drop his trailer in Fontana, I'm going to pick it up and bring it back here. Yeah, be back here for tomorrow morning delivery. So, Tony, I, I don't know who the driver is, so yeah, Tony, they always... I'm going to have questions for you. I'm going to test your knowledge of this area. Just a warning, she's going to be... Complicated. No, I'm not. I'm crazy to see somebody as healthy as put me like, is there cheese on top of that? <laughs> uh -huh. Eating a giant plate of enchiladas. This is not normal for her. You, you know today is a special day. There's no cheese. Only because Steve is here. <laughs> Only because Steve is here. Not you. Whoa, this is oh, aggressive. Yeah, this and is aggressive. It says, not you, and then points at my head. <laughs> Thanks. at the parking lot at Burger King. I must be giving away free stuff. <laughs> it's not that good. Is it that good? No. Burger King? And I'm not aware no, of I don't, it? No, I don't like Burger King. Do you eat fast food? It's, it depends. It's like every now and then I grab a hamburger, but I'm like, uh. You told me you had strawberries in your fridge. Yeah, so. do I have strawberries in my fridge. I have a, I have a protein shake. protein shake in my fridge. and. I can like apples and oranges. Do you, are they like the prepared protein shakes or did you I like make it my home. blend it at home and yep. then put it in the fringe? Yep, I used the, the protein powder with peanut butter. And nice, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> hey, you got to try to take care of yourself out yes. here. It's, it's, it's hard, you know. Didn't you tell me that you started working out again? Yes, I started, went, went back lifetime. to the gym. Yeah. Well, I went back to the gym. Then about, what is it, in September, September of last year, I quit smoking. I didn't know you smoked. I don't know. Nice anymore. work. <laughs> I'm so proud. Yeah. September last year? Yep, September last year. What was the trick? I just quit. And then what did you pick up like eating carrots or anything? No, I just went back to the gym. I started eating more fruits and vegetables and you know. Did you gain weight? I've heard that people yeah, gain you weight do. when they stop. You do smoking. and then like I say, not a lot, you know, yeah. but like I said I just I, I just started going back to the gym and I just so to eat more fruits and vegetables and... Can you like, would you tell people get carrot sticks and when you want a cigarette just put a carrot stick in your fingers and it's the same? I just usually chew gum. Oh, oh that's good. I'm really obsessed with chewing gum, so... Yeah, but Steve told me gum. that I'm not allowed to chew gum in when we record these because I like chomp on it really <laughs> aggressively. <laughs> Is it like, well because... Okay, I've never smoked a cigarette before, so I, I, yes, I don't know, but I don't know about the urge. But it's kind of like when you have idle time, mm -hmm. so some people would just have a snack. Yeah. If they didn't smoke, so instead of having a snack, you would just grab a cigarette? Yep. Same thing? Okay. Or after you eat, you know, you're like, oh, I smoke a cigarette. Really? Or, yeah. yeah. And then it was like, no, I'll just eat an apple or I'll eat an orange or, yeah. you know. That's good. I'm proud of you. So, I always try to keep like uh, almonds or peanuts in the truck or mm -hmm. something like that. Something just something that you can snack on that's not gonna Be make you all full. It just give you yeah just enough to say okay I'm like all right. Like a few calories. Yeah. Is your wife healthy? Yes. Yeah. Does, Does she, she go to the gym a lot? Yes, she goes to the gym, like and then they have a gym at her, at her job also. Oh really? Yeah. Where does she work? She works in Tempe. Oh. She worked for a trucking company? No, no, no. She works for, they do like the Medicaid, Medicare and all that stuff. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Is it a big company? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so. Like healthcare ish. Yeah, and then because they 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 work a lot with the state of Arizona. So. She commutes to Tempe. Every day. And oh back. my heavens, that's far. I pay her well. <laughs> <laughs> so. Does she want to move over there? And you're like, nope. No. <laughs> I'm not moving over there. I wouldn't want to live in so, Tempe in there. Um, matter of fact, she works over by uh, Tempe Town Lake. Okay. It's yeah, right there. She it's works a, right there. It's a nice area. There's a lot of stuff there. She probably has a whole lot of lunch options. Oh, yeah, there's a lot but to do But she over probably there. brings her own lunch, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, she do. That's like yeah. when I talked to her yesterday. She's, hey, what are you doing? She's, oh, I'm making my lunch for the next couple of days. Yeah. So she, you know, she'll make like, uh, like grilled chicken with Brussels sprouts. Mm. I hate Brussels sprouts and broccoli and all that stuff. So my kind of lady. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that it was hard on your relationship when you first started going over the road? Well, when, when I first started going over the road, uh, I was single. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was single. And how old is your daughter? Do you only have one daughter? Two. Two. Yes. How old are they? The one that lives here, she is. 26. Because she went to ASU. Yes. And she's done now. Yep. And then the, the youngest one, she's she's uh, 24. So they're not, they're, they're adults. Where does the 24-year-old live? In Las Cruces. Oh, okay. That's so. a lot. I remember when your daughter here started going to ASU. Like, yeah. I remember when you, like, took her to... The orientation and yeah. all that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember you telling me about it. That is crazy that it was that long ago. Lolo's chicken and waffles. Lolo's. <laughs> we're not going there. It's not healthy. No, it's not right on here. your diet plan. So you had one daughter. No, you had both daughters. Mm -hmm. By the time you started driving. Yes. I like, got into this industry. Yes. Was it hard to be away from them, or were they... Not well. It was, it was, you know, you miss them when you're gone. Yeah. You know, but you call them every day. Yeah. So. For most of it, you were. Yeah, and my oldest daughter, she would always, she would, because uh, when I first started driving, I used to go everywhere. And she would keep a map in her room, and then when I called her, she's like, where are you? And she would put, like, a little pens in oh, where I was at. so for, cute. For that night, for that day. <laughs> you're able to think right now after our lunch. What advice? would you give to guys that are just joining the industry or guys that are thinking about joining the industry? Kind of two sets of people. Well, it's like, you know, it's a stressful business, first of all. You know, it's, it's really a stressful job. Just gotta be patient and, you know, just, uh, just take it as it comes. Every, every week's not gonna be a good week. Every day's not gonna be a good day. Just, you know, just Keep calm and you know, just, just do the best you can. Truck on. Yep, just be Keep patient. Calm and yeah. Truck on. And be patient, you know, and as long as you're patient, you'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just learn it, patience. It, it, would it, you say, like, are there any personality types that you would recommend not to get into trucking? <laughs> well, it all depends. <laughs> because some people, you know, they get into it and those they're high strong people, but hey, they calm down after a while. They learn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You or have no they choice. Have a heart attack. And, and every day is something new out here. Yeah. You know, every day is something new. You got to deal with the traffic. You got to deal with the shippers, the consignees. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to deal with other people, and every day is something new. And just, for I think a lot of people have a perception that it's um, a job where you don't have to engage with others that often. Oh, you. But you yeah, are. Yeah, like, you there's engage, a lot of people. You that engage you're, with people. All the time. Maybe not as much as like a waitress would. No. But no, still, but there's a lot, a lot of different personality types too. Yep. Yeah, because you can go somewhere and that person is having a bad day. Yeah. And they take it out on you. Yeah. And yeah. you have nothing to do with it. But it's like wow. So that makes me sad. And it could be like that anywhere. Like I feel like learning how to deal with different personality types and learning how to deal with others that are not having the best day ever. Like you need to know how to handle those things in any single job that you have. Like yes. it's just good to have in life. I'll offer no, training. For the for the most for the most part, it's easy, you know? Yeah. Because you'll spend I'll say maybe eighty percent of your day, you know, 
you don't have to interact with anyone unless you, you know, unless you want to. Yeah, the more over the road you go, you would, if you have yeah. longer loads anyways, you would be interacting less. Yeah, so, you know, that's like me when I leave here, you know, I don't interact with anyone for at least five hours. Yeah. You know? What and do you do when you're driving? Listen to Sirius XM. Music or, too? Yep. Yeah. Just listen to music, you know. Talk radio. Six, six, yep. You know, see what's going on with sports. You know. What about podcasts? No. What? Really. That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. What do you listen to? All different kinds. Ah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes church podcasts, sometimes like stuff about weightlifting or food. Oh, okay. A lot of times I just put on some old school music and just drive down the road. And like just... <laughs> dance on. Yeah, uh, something that. Are, are there good you, um, speakers in here? In this one, I don't know, but mine does. Mine, yeah. Yeah. Did you change them out? I changed. I changed my stereo. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy. So, does it have Bluetooth? So it doesn't have yes. to. Yes, it does. It has Bluetooth and all that in there. So do our our trucks have an auxiliary cord, right? They should. Yeah. Like just the company one. Yeah, they should. Yeah, they should all have one. If not, just because there's one right there. Yeah. Hey, Steve. Yes, sir. If Tiffany decided she wanted to drive a truck, would you be her trainer? Please. He already said yes. <laughs> I already asked him. Of course. She'll be a good driver. The question she, 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 she is, do I trust patience. him? No, she, I don't. She has actually. lots of patience. <laughs> Have you seen the video yet where she drives the simulator? Are you sure you trust him? <laughs> no, I haven't seen the video. <laughs> You, have you tried the, driven the simulator in the yeah, office? Yeah, yeah, that thing, that thing is wild. It, that was annoying me because it like, the whole chair was vibrating and yeah. you're not expecting it. Like, yeah, yeah, the truck vibrates, of course, when you're in it, but like. It makes you feel Like kinda, nauseous? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's not like when I'm actually behind the wheel and, but no, that thing makes you feel kind of weird. Yeah. So when you're ready. Did you get that facial expression? Are you ready My chair is activity? shaking. I'm not ready. You're not ready for this. Okay, hold on. I need to put my uh, cell phone away. No texting and driving, Tiffany. That is the you <laughs> break. So this is your clutch. You don't need that. We're going to do automatic. Okay, good. So can you... Okay, I'm just testing. Okay. So you ready? Hold on. I feel like my posture is not good. Oh, my seatbelt's not on. <laughs> Didn't you learn that from the last <laughs> video you <laughs> So here, move your seat. Everybody, she wants yeah, to wear seat up. belt in the last video. Just so you know, I would never let that happen. Are you too straight up? No, that's good. That's I good. drive like an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> so right here, and when you're ready to go, hit that yellow and red. My trailer? Yep, and then push the yellow one. Now, you're ready. So I'm this not is in drive. Yes, I am. Yep, I didn't put it in drive. I did. Oh. So right here, drive. you're going to come up right here and you're going to make the right hand turn. I'm going to put you in. Like, Is that illegal? No, no, no. You want to follow. Well, so the truckers want to be in the outside lane because this would be. Yeah, the radio, don't worry. She's got to There's not her. jams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to put on the best at 90 station. <laughs> so go ahead and let off your uh, push the accelerator. What do you mean the simulator doesn't have hands and mm pop on it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, then I just need to feel it out. Like, how, how heavy so, is my load? Uh, like, can I stop quickly? Yeah, you're on the floor. Oh, my you're gosh. Fully this is loaded. making me sick to my stomach. Yeah, yeah, you're fully loaded. So keep going up to this line, and you're literally... Is there traffic in this game? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can run over people. Ma'am, this is no... Hold game. on, I need to put my turn signals. So when you get right here, you're going to look down this way to see the... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm driving. Is there like a dog gonna run out around the corner? Back your bear on that side. Is it? <laughs> I can't tell. Is it stuck? No, you're good. Uh, so you see traffic coming right here. The chair is responsive. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Pull up more. You have to keep going to UBC site right here. Uh oh, like all of the but lanes. If you cross the line, remember you can get a ticket for keep going too far. Keep going. This car go a little, little more. Hold on, I think a grandma's walking on the sidewalk. Now, sir. Is it again? Yeah, you want to turn your wheel now to the right. Already? Yeah, keep, start turning it. 
Now aim for this sidewall. Like all the way right? Yeah. And then now cut it back to the left a little. Keep going. Oh, Wait, watch left? Out for that dog. Watch yeah, out for the dog, Tiffany. Yeah. The trailer has a night logo. Yeah. And just keep this mirror straight right here. Now go back to the right. Ooh. Oh, almost wiped the car. What was you. that? <laughs> you got tired of waiting for you. Welcome to front. Jerk. <laughs> I'm in all of the lanes. Hold <laughs> <So then. laughs> I'm taking up like three lanes. There's too many things to look at at one time. Oh, my turn signal's been on for an hour. <laughs> That's fine. Where am I going? Where's what's my route plan? Go any route you want. What city am I in right now? Oh, yellow light. <laughs> Red light was optional. I feel like I'm at Chuck E. Cheese. It's fine. Excuse me, I'm just gonna. Yeah, right. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this is making me want to vomit. Why is it making her stop the vehicle? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my gosh. Ew, it's like moving the tra the chair. <laughs> oh, I'm getting yeah, sick. Yeah. I want to crash. Can I see what will happen? Yeah. She'll do the Lord. Oh, I think she's already got two violations. Right? Hold on, I'm texting and driving. Oh, no. Oh, it's like the slowest thing. Ah! <laughs> Hello. pad for your first time. How do you reverse? Which way? Oh, it just no put it just magically put me back on the road. It's only call Wrecker okay. in your safety department. Huh? I'm trying to go, bro. If you've liked this episode, please subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications.